So this is the uh, efficiency condition. Okay, so this, so you can see this is an equation, one equation, we have one unknown, which is uh, theta. Okay, u of theta is a function of theta, tau of theta is a function of theta. So this is an equation. When you solve it, you're going to get the tightness theta that's actually uh, efficient, okay? Uh, so this is going to give uh, efficient labor market tightness, which we'll call theta star. And the efficient labor market tightness is uh, is the solution to that uh, to that simple equation u over tau is equal to eta over one minus eta, where eta is the shape of the matching function. Okay, and from this you can infer that, for instance, the efficient unemployment rate, which is you know what we're after, it's u star and it's equal to u of theta star, where u is a function linking unemployment to tightness, so it's equal, if I wanted to write it, it's equal to s over s plus f of theta star. That's my efficient unemployment rate. So this would be the target, for instance, for governments uh, who want to reach full employment, they would try to get to that level. Um, you can also figure out what is the efficient level of output and if you want that's also the maximum level of output that's sustainable that's going to be a times n alpha but n is the number of uh, producer when the tightness is theta star okay that would be your efficient level of output where the function n of theta star um, you know is going to be given by a times so what is n of theta star well we know that it's the number of employed workers which is just the labor supply at theta star divided by one plus tau of theta star okay so that will give you like the efficient level of, uh, of output and so on and so forth. You can also compute the efficient uh, employment level. I mean, everything, once you have your tightness, you know, as usual, you can back out everything that you need. Okay. Uh, and so one question. So this is our little formula. The ratio, basically, so what you can do is that if you have a labor market data, you can, uh, you can look at the unemployment rate. You can look at uh, the produ recruiter producer ratio tau and you take the ratio of these two things and if that's equal to eta over one minus eta then you know that your labor market is efficient so for instance uh, we can do a little application to the u.s labor market So the US labor market, we know is that uh, what the research on the matching function tells us is that eta is roughly 0 0.5. Okay, and the uh, a survey paper by Pichongolo and Pisarides that's assigned as a reading confirms that. So it says that roughly eta is equal to 0 0.5. That means that um, eta over 1 minus eta, which we have in our formula, is equal to 1. Okay. So what that means is that uh, under such calibration, so in practice, the labor market is efficient which means, you know, maximizes social welfare is working as well as it can work. So 
So if we stick to that, eta is equal to 0.5 calibration, labor market is efficient when, uh, and, and then we get a really, really simple uh, condition, u over tau is equal to 1. How did I get that? Well, because the general condition is u over tau is equal to eta over 1 minus eta. But a lot of evidence says eta is equal to 1 half. So in practice, we get that <coughs> our labor market is going to be efficient when u over tau is equal to 1. Okay? So basically, what that means is that a very you know, kind of rule of thumb for labor market efficiency is that the number Um, the number of unemployed workers has to be equal to the number of recruiters. And in a sense, <coughs> unemployed workers and recruiters are both sources of um, inefficiency. Unemployed workers are kind of inefficient because they are idle, they are, they are not productive. You know, they are not part of the firm. Recruiters are, you know, inefficient because <coughs> they are non, they are also they are non-productive, so they are non-productive. You know, they are not producing widgets or services that enter the utility function. And so both, <coughs> of course, they have to exist. You know, if you didn't have a number of workers through the matching function, you would have no matches that are created, so you couldn't sustain any uh, uh, any employment. If you didn't have recruiters. You couldn't fill any vacancy. So these unemployed workers, recruiters, they are required for the labor market to operate because we constantly have flows. Um, but both of them are kind of uh, <coughs> they indicate that the labor market you know doesn't operate perfectly, that they are, that they are you know that there are these matching frictions. Unemployed workers and recruiters. There are two sides of the friction. The number of workers on the worker side because they are idle instead of being employed. The recruiters on the firm side because they are recruiting instead of producing. And But the condition for the labor market to be <coughs> organized as efficiently as possible is that actually a, a rule of some condition that holds when the matching function indeed has eta is equal to 0.5 is that you have as many unemployed workers as uh, you have recruiters. If you have more unemployed workers and recruiters and you have too many unemployed workers, if you have more recruiters and unemployed workers and you have too many recruiters, and the bliss point is when you exactly have the same number of people who are unemployed as people who are allocated to recruiting. So that's a very simple rule. Um, that seems to, you know, that, that would hold true when your matching function, the eta is not too far to 0.5, which I think is something that uh, is something that you that you see commonly, so that seems pretty realistic. Okay? So that's a like, simple rule to have in mind. <clears throat> so if you have, you know, 14% unemployment or 15% unemployment, uh, if, you know, this would be efficient only if you also had 15% of workers who are recruiters. But that, of course, is not what happens. So in most economies, um, you know, like evidence suggests that you have about, you know, 3% uh, workers, maybe 4%. Uh, workers who are uh, recruiters actually who are devoted to human resources and stuff. So that is telling you that the efficient unemployment rate you know, has to be in the three four percent range. We cannot be much higher than that just because we don't have that many people who are devoted to recruiting in actual economies. <coughs>